I'm in a Tesla Model X Plaid, and next to me is a Ferrari SF90, and next to that is a Lamborghini SVJ. And we're gonna drag race, because I wanna find out which is quickest over the standing quarter mile. A Italian supercar, an Italian hypercar, or an electric, family-friendly SUV that can seat six. Oh yeah! Anyway, let me tell you about this Tesla Model X Plaid. It has two electric motors, and combined they put out 1,020 horsepower and 1,020 20 newton meters of torque it's heavy though this it weighs about two and a half tons it's also quite expensive around 130,000 pounds so it's cheaper than that ferrari that costs 380,000 pounds it has a four liter twin turbo v8 mated to an electric motor which drives the rear wheels then on the front axle you've got two electric motors one for each wheel and combined that system puts out 1,000 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque it's got an eight speed dual clutch automatic gear and launch control. That car weighs just under 1.6 tonnes. Finally, we come to the Lamborghini. It has a 6.5 litre V12, which puts out 770 horsepower and 720 newton metres of torque. Who'd have thought that would be the least powerful vehicle in a drag race by far? It's got all-wheel drive via a seven-speed single-clutch robotized manual gearbox and, of course, launch control. That car also weighs just under 1.6 tonnes and it costs £360,000. Now, I'd like to say a big shout out to the people who have lent us and sorted us this particular Tesla Model X Plaid. Go to their sites and just say thanks for lending us this car. Really appreciate it. Now let's find out about who's driving those other cars. Ferrari driver, can you tell us who you are? Young Matthew, it is Yanni from Yanomise. And just quickly, why are you over there? Get back on the left. Ah, you see this is a German car, so it's left-hand drive. We like to show the cars racing in my camera. That's why I'm always over on the other side, because the camera you get it? Yeah, but it's weird. I've got like an Aventador SVJ on my left and you're in a Tesla. Really? You're going to have to remember to look right when you're racing rather than left, which is what you normally do. To be honest, I think you'll be behind me, so I won't worry about you. You better hope I'll be behind you, otherwise it's going to be pretty embarrassing. Do you remember that time when I almost beat you in your own Lamborghini SV and I was in the old Tesla Model X? Keyword there being almost. Do you reckon it's going to be an almost? Or do you reckon it's going to be a not even close, Matt? You're having a laugh because this Ferrari is well quick. Yeah, this Ferrari is no joke and I know it launches really well. What? I don't even know what you're in. It looks like a Tesla Model X, but I assume it's not a normal one. Yeah, it's a normal one that you can buy. Not in the UK yet, yeah, it's coming to the UK, but in, in America and like mainland Europe, it's for sale. It's just like a normal six-seater, family-friendly SUV. No, it's not. It's that, is it played or something? Yeah, you're going to be played, mate. <laughs> let's get into the racing. Anyway, let's go over to the driver of the Lamborghini. It is, of course, Mark McCann. I'm sure a lot of you recognise that very dirty SVJ. How you doing, Mark? I'm good, Matt. You all right? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. What's happened to your voice? It sounds a bit odd. I was just a heavy night last night, you know how it is, with me. Anyway, new year, new me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were stuck in traffic on the M40. I'm so glad you managed to get here on time. Anything for you, mess. Traffic won't stop me when I've got a race to win. Now, if you like these kind of drag races, make sure you're subscribed to this channel, all right? And hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way, you won't miss a single upload. Right, let's go on with the racing. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now, before we race, we're going to do the customary car wash sound check. So, I'm going to get Mark to rev up his Lamborghini. Oh, do you miss that sound, Yanni? You used to have that sound in your garage. Well, it didn't fit in your garage, did it? You know, on your driveway, at least. Yeah, to be fair, if you want to see that video, you can click here, see me fit in a kind of garage with Matt. I love Matt. Um, yeah, Lambo sounds amazing. So, we have a listen to the Ferrari. <laughs> It's nice, but it's not a Lambo. Do you know that your car's also got like three electric motors as well as that four litre twin turbo V8? I did see the little electric plug down there in all in green saying 15 miles and then it's got 44 miles in the middle and then, yeah, I, I don't know. It's my turn to do a noise. Right, I used to be able to make the sound of a Formula One car. <laughs> no, I can't do it anymore. I'm just spat all over the inside of this car. Sorry, yeah, definitely make sure you check out the owners of this car. Okay, <laughs> you might find the links in the description. And we've also got to say thank you to the owner of the Ferrari. Thank you very much for lending us your car. We really appreciate it. We'll take good care of it. Right, now, if you're thinking about buying a car and you need to sell your current car, you can do it through CarWay. It's dead easy. All you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. Just bid the highest offer and they'll come to your house. Take the car away, put the money in your account. It's dead easy. If you want to do that now, click on the pop out banner up there for the link in the description below. Alternatively, you can do it at a later date by simply Googling Help Me Car Wow and we will help you 
sell your car. And hopefully, I'm now going to win this race and humiliate Yanni. What happened with your launch, Yanni? Didn't launch, didn't change gear, and just before I was due to launch, it was like, how can I help you? Everywhere it could fail, it failed on me. Do you want to try and engage launch again? Oh! That looked like a launch. Oh my God, that was insane. Did you beat the Ferrari, Mark? No, he had me at the line. I ain't gonna lie, I feel really bad because I missed the Lambo, but that SVJ is slow versus this. So you need to win this, otherwise it's game over, right? You won't get another go. I won't let the Ferrari owner down, so yeah, I've got this. I didn't have a very good start there. It was just like struggle with traction and it like wasn't as fast as the first time. Mate, they all sound like excuses. What does that make it? 1-1 one, one then, mate? 1-1, one, one, but that was not a good start for me. So we've both had a dodgy start. Let's do the decider. Three. Traction. Oh, here comes the Ferrari. Come on, Tesla, come on. Come on. Boy! Did I have you? I think I got you at the end. I did shout come on about 10 times and obviously the audience knows I get extra 10 bhp on that. I think we're gonna have to do the thing. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the Tesla and Ferrari both did the standing quarter mile in 10 seconds dead. The freeze frame is so close that I'm gonna leave it to you to decide which car won. Vote in the pinned comment either for the Tesla or the Ferrari. The one with the most votes wins. Oh, almost forgot, the Lamborghini was last. It did the standing quarter mile in 10.8 seconds. Now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The cars are just in their automatic modes. There's no automatic mode with this, so uh, yeah, whatever. Race to the half mile, three, two, one, go. Frickin' hell. What is that Ferrari doing? Here comes the half mile. So what happened to your car, Jan? It just didn't seem to perform. I'll be honest, you went before me because I saw the front of your car rise up, but even still, I wouldn't catch up. No, I didn't go before you. I, I went when I said go. It's just so instant. It's nothing to do with me cheating. I didn't like press the pedal and then go, go. I wouldn't have caught you, but you went before me. However, Mark, how was it for you? You did better than the Ferrari. I got a good start in this. Kickdown was good. Trouble is, I can't hear on the radio, Matt. Yeah, but it doesn't help that Matt's holding the, the radio over here when he's saying, right, you ready? That's the problem. So we did an action replay. Did I hold the radio over here? Well, let's have a quick action replay. Three, two, one, go. Who's right? Me, Yanni, Mark. Let's do it again, but it's a bit more balanced in your favour, guys, this time. And I want a sorry Yanni on the screen because your hand was in front of the steering wheel. So trust me, you lost that one. No, I'll record a sorry Yanni now, just in case. Sorry, Yanni. Really sorry. I'm gonna give you all my best sorries. Honestly, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, all right, I'm just sorry. I can't turn back time. I, I can't do anything about it. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't even, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I did it. I just don't know. I'm just sorry, please forgive me. <laughs> Something like that. This time we're gonna do a rolling race. Once again from 50 miles an hour, but you two can be in your sportiest settings, second gear. There, the radar's right by my mouth so you can hear me. Three, two, one, go. Frickin' hell, that Ferrari just shot off. And to the half mile. 
mile, it's not that big a difference. First things first, could you hear me okay? Just about. Second thing, that Lamborghini is bloody slow, isn't it? I know, and it breaks my heart, I can't even lie. Which is best, Ferrari or Lamborghini? You know my saying, Lamborghini all day, every day. On this occasion, Ferrari is definitely better, right? I don't know why you get so offended. It's just a car brand. Just because you like the wrong car brand. Okay, anyway, should we move on? Oh, oh so quickly, Mark, how was that for you? That was a bit of rice that time, Mac, but it's like I'm here just as a camera car for you too. It's true. Anyway, one last challenge. However, if you'd like to watch another drag race where I race the old Model X against Yanni's own Lamborghini SV, click on the pop-out banner up there. Follow the link in the description below. If not, let's do this. Brake test. Now we can have a brake test from 100 miles an hour when we reach the line for emergency stop. Whichever car stops before hitting a hair, wins. Go on, hair. Here we go, though. Here comes the line. This is not stopping. God, the brakes on this are rubbish. I have no idea what happened there. Yanni, can you give some insight? Mate, I can't even see you. You're that far away and the Lambo lost, so I won. And I'll be honest, this was easy. This really broke well. Braked well, I think is what you meant to say, or stopped well. Hopefully it hasn't broken. Mark, what did you think about that, mate? Um, looks like I lost yet again by the looks of it. I don't think I've been feeling myself today, to be honest. Yeah, that Lambo just doesn't perform really when you put it up against a six-seater electric SUV. Oh, wait a minute, I badly lost the brake test, so okay, I'll shut up. I'm pretty sure I look the best, though, surely. I don't know that you do. I think the Ferrari looks a bit better than the Lambo. Anyway, we don't need to debate that. You can debate in the comments which looks the best, the Ferrari or the Lamborghini or maybe the Tesla. Anyway, I'd like to say thanks to everyone who sorted out the cost for us today. Really, really appreciate it. Once again, the links are all in the description. And I found a really good deal on a fast car that's a lot less expensive than these through Carway, right? If you want to find out what the car is and the deal, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. Anyway, I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know some of the drag races you'd like to see in the comments. If you click on the windows, I think they might be there. They could be there, I don't know, that's somewhere. Then I'm all just like messed up because I've got a left-hand drive car. Anyway, click on those to watch some more videos or on the box, which is somewhere, which I'm not sure because I'm all um, disorientated, to get a car way to sell your car the easy way. Just upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.